Okay, so I want to be a rock star right now. How are we going to do this? I'm going to shred and I'm going to sing. Let's hook up the mic first. Unzip the pouch. We have a dynamic mic. Just allows the pass. Nothing fancy. PS or PG57 Sure mic. Sure is a very um, popular brand of mic. Here we go. I'm going to put it in the clip. I usually do this last. In the clip here, right? And the bottom will screw on the top of a mic stand. And then you can adjust it from there, okay? I don't know how this one adjusts. I think you got to loosen this one up. Yeah, you got to loosen it up, right? Because it's kind of tight. But you can loosen that screw up a little bit, not too much. Anyway, so you, you know, you have the mic. Here's the clip, the mic. XLR on the bottom. Bottom of the mic stand, right? The screw-on thing screws onto the stand. You're set to go, okay? But I'm going to take the... Okay, how are we going to do this? I want to run the mic. So what kind of cable I'm going to need? Exactly. XLR. Whoops. XLR is the bottom of the mic, right? So look at this. XLR, XLR. Put this in. Now we're good. Now let's run it into the microphone. Ready to sing like Jack Black. I'm a loving that a fatter. Okay. So where does the other end of the cable go? Signal flow, voice, mic, cable. All right. Over here. All right. We use this one. XLR, but nah, this is how we're going to use this one. All right? We're going to use this one. Uh, there are three prongs goes this way. There we go. Now we're hooked. We got the soundboard. We got the mic running in, right? I'm a loving up. I'm a loving up. Down here into the soundboard. Okay, but I want some effects, right? I want to run some freaking effects. And there's some effects I can build in. A lot of the things will be effects will be built in on your computer. But let's go old school. Take a bunch of guitar pedals. Oh, no, we got to run the guitar. So imagine I have a guitar here. So I'm going to plug in quarter inch. Let's plug that into the line in. All right. Well, we can use the... It says mic in, but we can pretend this is a line. There's the phones. It doesn't say line in. It just says mic in, but I can make it happen. Let's just pretend this is line in, right, which is this one. Yeah. I like you see that. So we're going to go here. Now, there's a quarter-inch plug. Went into the quarter-inch jack. Sorry, this is taking a while. I'll show you how to roll up cables, too, to where you don't ruin your cables. It's a pain. You don't do... Oh, hold on. Hold on. These have been in a box. All right. So now I'm going to start here. Quarter-inch plug. Let's run it into an effects pedal. All right. It doesn't say, but this is the side that goes in. But that's not the only effect. I want another effect pedal. Let's do some digital reverb, even though I can do this. Okay, so we're going to run this. This does, Oh, no, this does say in. In, in, out. So we're going to run this pedal into this pedal. Now we have two effects pedals. We have the mic running into the board. We have the two effects pedals. That's not enough because we're Americans and we don't have to ask anything. We're going to get more. What are you going to need? You got it. Quarter-inch plug, quarter-inch jack. We're going to run out of the reverb and into the metal zone. So we can shred. Yeah. All right. Mike running into board. Uh, guitar running into here. So I can process my vocals through all these old effects pedals if I wanted. And then last but not least, you know, from here to here. Right. But now, how am I going to plug into... The computer, how am I going to do that? Well, right here. But I'm out of cables. So let's just assume I have another one of these. I run this into the board, and then I can use that fire wire wherever I put it. Right here. The fire wire. So, uh, to, the, to get this uh, interface. 
See how it works as your signal flow? Everything's just kind of running together like a chain. And some things you can't run into certain things. And I'll show you about that later. All right. So the fire wire comes over here. Sorry, try not to go upside down here. Because I know I did that in the last video. And then we can run that USB. I'm just going to leave it there. So, mics and guitars running into this board. And then we have a, a series of effects pedals. And then into this, which we can fire wire over here. And we have our chain. And then we're working on our digital audio workstation. And, you know, you can buy, like, a, a digital audio interface and do all this crap. You know, with the digital audio you know, interface, you're not going to need all of these, all right? These are old school. This is crap we were playing in the 80s and 90s. But the idea is to teach you about signal flow. Voice, mic, cable, board, guitar in my hands, down here, input. So you got the voice running in here, XLR. You got the, the guitar running in here, uh, quarter inch, right? Plug and jack. Now you want that, that board is going out through this signal processing so you can step on these pedals or hit these pedals and add crap to your signal, which is coming through here and feeding into here, and then I can record it onto there, right? This is unnecessary. This is a hodgepodge. This is, a, a, this is blasphemy. This is a freaking monstrosity. It's a disaster. Uh, don't do it. It's just easier to take one digital box and have everything plug into that one box digital box, digital interface, and then the DAW. But I'm running an old analog box, and then this one, and then old guitar effects pedals, just to show you. And how am I going to monitor this? With my headphones coming out of my computer. Or I could use speaker monitor. I could use studio monitors, right? And here, up here when I produce it. So that's basically how your electronic, you know, signal flow is going to work with this sort of stuff. And then my next video, I'll get down to soundproofing material where you can make your room more dead. And I heard there's a little box you can just put over the speaker. Jake said something about it. I'll see if I can find it on Musician's Friend. That way you can kind of soundproof your voice where your neighbors won't hear it. but it, And it'll, it'll make that sound pure where there's no noise in it. But at the same time, you don't have to like put a bunch of soundproof crap on your, your apartment walls, which you don't want to do. If you have a house and you wanted to build a home studio like out of a room, this would be good. But I still want to show it to you, right? So you understand how soundproofing works. And it's going to go back into what we said with dead sound and wet sound, or I'm sorry, dry sound and wet sound.